Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. I've been wanting to come out and wear my new 1971 Vault Spirit jersey and it's been super chilly here in Florida so I felt like tonight would be the perfect night. We're gonna ride some rides, check the wait times, get some food, and enjoy a cozy chilly night at the Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. I cannot believe we're rolling into February 2022 already. January seems like it just went by so quick. But I have to say, I'm kind of liking how the new year is starting for me. It's been great so far. Whenever it's cold here in Florida, I always just immediately think of going to the Magic Kingdom. I just love being able to walk around on a chilly night with a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? Hang out with a cup of coffee on Main Street USA. Such a great feeling. So we're going to do that later on, definitely. I normally come out to the parks much earlier in the day, but tonight I kind of came out a little bit late and it's five o'clock so it's going to get dark out pretty fast and when it gets darker out it also gets colder out so it's definitely going to be a chilly night here at the Magic Kingdom. Something cool that I've been doing with uh, my TikTok videos is I've been exploring like retro Walt Disney World and showing off like old maps. So I brought my Magic Kingdom map uh, from 1998 and I kind of want to show you guys some of the stuff in here because it is mind blowing. If you guys want to see more like retro Walt Disney World videos, then you should check out my TikTok paging Mr. Morrow because I've been showing off a lot of these old maps and I kind of think it's really cool. Like I said, this map is from August 29th to September 6th in 1998. And during that time period, they actually had the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management. Isn't that so cool cool attractions for summer days and it tells you the park hours and also wow look at the parades and fireworks spectral magic fantasy in the sky oh the disney magical moments this is the good stuff right here and you know what i think we're gonna head over to adventureland kind of got me all uh thinking about the enchanted tiki room but not the under new management one let me know in the comments if you ever got the chance to actually see the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management with Zazu and Yago. I think that is such a cool thing. I never got to see it. Um, and I know a lot of people didn't like it and it didn't last too long. But it's, it's fun to hear your feedback. So let me know in the comments what you thought. So that kind of inspired me to make my way into Adventureland and do a couple of attractions over there. I said last time I was here I didn't spend enough time in there. So maybe we'll get maybe one or two rides done. I think it would be fun to ride Aladdin's Magic Carpets because of Iago and then maybe do the Enchanted Tiki Room. I mean, we have to see what the wait time is for Aladdin's Magic Carpets. I don't want to wait long. Sometimes they do have a short wait, but we'll see. We'll check it out. Here is a look at some of the wait times. Jungle Cruise is 75 minutes. Pirates is 35. Oh, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin is only 25 minutes. Haunted Mansion, 45 minutes. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a too busy kind of day. Honestly, it's actually really awesome. Once again, Mickey at Town Square Theater, only a five minute wait. 25 minutes, I can definitely wait to do the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. I really do like this ride. It is fun. It's kind of like Dumbo. One of my favorite things about riding this ride is you can actually control like if you go up or down and also the tilt of the uh, carpet. So Dumbo you just control going up or down but this one has two different controls and I like that. That wasn't bad at all. It actually was really quick so I'm happy. I'm happy we're riding this. It's, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. There it goes except for this one carpet right here. I guess it's not so magical. Looks like the camels aren't spitting much water these days though. This one over here is not spitting nothing and that one just kind of looks like it's drooling. It looks so funny, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, here comes the not magic magic carpet. They also give you assigned numbers for this too. So we are number nine. Our lucky magic carpet is number nine. Oh, that's it right here. There we go. This is the one. You can sit in the back. The back controls the tilt, and then this one controls uh, going up and down. So I'm not too sure which one I want to do. Oh, well, you know what? We can reach. We can reach behind us. Oh, wow. I like my spirit jersey, too. The color kind of matches. But we're ready. Got our seatbelt on and ready to go on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world. 
Also, take a look at all the genie faces right there. And Abu ahead of it. That's really awesome. I never noticed the genie. It kind of blends in. But here we go. We're ready. There's our little camel friend. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh wait. It started off pretty fast there, and I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Oh, we're going all the way up. Wow, look at this. It's like the golden hour right now. <laughs> now we gotta tilt back. I think we, we tilted this way. There we go. <laughs> Magic carpet ride, a whole new world. <laughs> oh, no, we wanna be up. <laughs> Let me share this whole new world, a whole new world. <laughs> Oh, this is too fun. Look at, we're really tilting here. Oh, we're coming in. Coming in for a landing. Oh, this is such a fun ride. I really, really do love it. A little bit uh, creaky, like uh, creaky though. It's definitely a little creaky. Got a little bounce to it too. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I really do like riding that ride. It gets me all giddy and happy. I have no idea why. Maybe because they do like play like Aladdin music. So you're flying on a magic carpet and I don't know. It really does like make me feel happy. <laughs> now let's head on into Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. And this one I feel like I haven't done in a while. It says uh, zero minutes until next show. So I think we're just gonna head right on in. I really wish we could have seen it like under new management, like in person. I wish I could have. Uh, I've seen videos of it online, but I've never actually got to see it in person. It was before my time, but I probably bet it was magical for the short stunt that it was here. Three dollar four. Descend with your rhythms. Oh, one, two, Looks like we got a full show today, and that's always good to see a lot of people coming out and visiting the Enchanted Tiki Room. It makes me happy. Now, there have been times that I've been in here, and there's only been like 10 people. And believe it or not, that has happened many of times before, but not today. Like, we're full full. I like to sit in the back row because I like to get an up-close look at these guys right here. They can be terrifying, but also very fun. Look at that. Somebody needs to wake somebody up because the show's about to start. Looks like some of the birds are sleeping. So we need everyone to wake up on the count of three. We're all gonna yell, wake up, Jose, to get this show started. Everybody ready? In one, in two, and three. Wake up, Jose! Oh, what is this, senorita? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now we present direct from the islands a musical lure. <laughs> Well, 
what did you guys think? I always get joy whenever I go to the Enchanted Tiki Room. I wish I could find Yago though. Uh, since uh, we were talking about under new management, I was thinking, I'm like, is Yago in this area at all anymore? And I've really been looking around. I don't see him anywhere. So the only time he was in there was under new management. Now I can't find him anywhere. Something else that's really cool, and I think we're gonna actually go over there right now, only because I keep looking at the map, is where the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction and Mickey's Two Town Fair, where that actually used to be. You can see it on the map right here. And there's the Nautilus in the water. And I think it'd be cool if we go over there and I'll show you what took its spot. I'm sure some of you know, but I bet there's some people that don't know. Can we also chalk that up to a thing I wish I could do? The 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction? That would have been so amazing. I have a lot of props from that attraction at my house. I have the seaweed, uh, there's a porthole, and I really wish I could ride it. I know I can go to Disneyland and do the Finding Nemo one, but I would have, I would have loved to have done the original 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction. That would have been great. Now that we're leaving Adventureland, I want to see what the wait times are like over in Fantasyland. And it looks like Dumbo's 15 minutes, uh, the Filler Magic's 25, Seven Doors Mine Train is 130 minutes. Oh, and Winnie the Pooh's 50. Wow, it got busy quick. Looks like we're losing daylight here, so we're going to have to hustle along. I do want to get something to eat too, and I was thinking about maybe, oh, you want to get something to eat? He wants to get some to eat too. But I was thinking about getting uh, one of the 1971 meals. I don't know if you guys have seen them before, but they're at the different quick service locations. And I thought it'd be fun since I'm wearing my 1971 Spirit jersey. Have a little 1971 meal too. Back in 1998, they uh, opened up the brand new Pecos Bill Cafe where they sold cheeseburgers, hot dog baskets, and wrap sandwiches. The best food in the West. Brand new. Right now we're coming up on the carousel and we're going to use the carousel as kind of a focal point to show you guys some things on the map that used to be and I kind of I'm really excited about this. I, I feel like I should do this to almost every park like bring a map from the 90s or the earliest date and just point out cool stuff and that's what I was doing the TikTok videos about. I was basically just like going through the maps because I have so many of them and it's pretty amazing just to look back at what used to be. So if we were standing right here to where the carousel is, uh, to the left of it would have been Dumbo. Dumbo would have been right here. And then right behind Dumbo would have been the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction. And that's where he, uh, it looks like uh, Seven Doors Mine Train is. Like you see how it is right here on the map? It's pretty crazy. Right there is the carousel. There is Dumbo, and then here is the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Pretty mind-blowing, and then down over by the Big Top area, that would have been Mickey's Toontown Fair, and I think that is so, like, special. Really, really cool stuff right there. Also, back in 1998, there wasn't Winnie the Pooh. There was actually Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Isn't that so awesome? And inside the ride, uh, as you're going to uh, Owl's house, you can see Mr. Toad in there actually signing over the deed. And I'm gonna show that on the, on the map too. I'm now fixated on the map. I am like hooked about this. <laughs> Right here at the 100 Acre Woods, and you can take a look at the map, see there, number uh, 26, I think it is? Yeah, number 26, good old Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I love it, that is so cool. Also, number 28, which would have been Mickey's Fill Her Magic, was Legend of the Lion King, presented by Kodak. Isn't that like, oh, I love it. <laughs> Now I think we're gonna actually go head on in to uh, Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe, grab ourselves that 1971 meal, and maybe listen to Sunny Eclipse. I can see him in there right there. The hardest working man in entertainment. I feel so fancy getting the 1971 meal while wearing my 1971 Spirit jersey and walking around with a 1998 park map. <laughs> There it is, the 1971 meal, a barbecue chicken and kale slaw sandwich, and it comes with Walt's chili cheese fries, a fountain beverage, and a 50th cake pop, all for $19.71. All right, here it is, the 1971 meal. I did this with the cake pop. It actually comes like individually wrapped, but I wanted to make it a little fancy, and we've got front row seats for Sunny Eclipse. Look at them up there. Whew, this is gonna be fun. 
First things first, let's try the pulled barbecue chicken with kale salad. It might be a little loud, but we don't turn down Sunny Eclipse. So here we go. Picked it up in a pawn shop. Got it for a song. But hey, I love mm. being here at Cosmic Gray's beautiful Starlight Lounge. That is so good. And the kale salad or the kale slaw really doesn't have any like dressing on it. It's just kale, I think. But I like it. It's very good. The bun is not holding up though. It is like falling apart in my hand, so it's a little bit messy. So we're gonna try it again, Harry. I'm not the biggest fan of this sharp cheddar cheese, but we're gonna give it a go because it's Walt's cheese. Walt's chili cheese fries. I was only kidding about the rays, man. She has 12 nostrils. 12 nostrils. Hey, speaking of planets, Donald Duck and Goofy were in here a few minutes ago looking for Pluto. Man, are they a few million miles off or what? <laughs> Did you know that a comet is a star with a tail? Come to think of it, Mickey Mouse is a star with a tail too. Small world, huh? Time to try the cake pop and look at it, it's got a little gold dust on it. So here we go, we're gonna bite into it. Mm. It's good. The cake on the inside is really, really moist. And I like the flavor of the chocolate coating. This is really cool and it's a little treat. It's a little added dessert for free. Cause you pay $19.71 for the uh, sandwich and fries and drink. And this is just included. Now we're all finished. We're gonna head out, but we gotta say goodbye to Sunny. Bye Sunny. Yes, I love you. Wow, I can't believe it. it's like completely dark now. Things have changed so quickly. I, we were only in uh, the uh, cafe for maybe like 20, 30 minutes. Like we weren't there that long. So uh, maybe we'll hang out in Tomorrowland a little bit. Maybe ride People Mover or uh, I would love to do Carousel Progress. There's a lot of great things that we can do. It doesn't look like there's much of a line to ride the teacups. And I really believe the teacups at night is almost like a different attraction. Look at how beautiful it is over here. I think we're going to go do it. Look, I kind of got excited. I'm like, a little spontaneous, no wait, might as well. And it is so beautiful at night. I just checked to see what the temperature is and it's 49 degrees. So it's a little bit chilly. I'm glad I'm wearing my spirit jersey. I can't believe it's dark out already. Like I said, it goes by so quick. It gets dark super early in Florida. And now we're about to go for a little spin on the teacups. Get it? A little spin. I'm not gonna do much spinning though. I kind of like just to sit back and relax. Some people go crazy and all in, but I'm kind of just stationary. I'm the stationary cup whenever I'm out there. I think we'll take this cup right over here. This one's closed at the moment. They got a little tarp over it, but this one's good. This'll do. There we go. All sit back and just relax and go for a nice little ride. Oh, there we go. No spin here. Maybe we'll just do one little tiny spin. There we go, that's good for me. <laughs> How you doing there, cup? <laughs> it's so funny seeing it not spin round and round. Oh, hey, hey, I'm not doing that. What the heck? <laughs> there we go. Look at all the pretty lights in here, isn't it so nice? Just sit back, relax, and it will spin a little bit, but not too much, you don't have to go crazy. I love it though. <laughs> oh, oh, we're spinning. We're turning around now. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 
And that is that. Very fun. <laughs> Ooh, that was loud. The fireworks are at 8 o'clock and it's enchantment, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to watch them. It's not like we're seeing fantasy in the sky or wishes or happily ever after. Wish, I do wish I could have seen fantasy in the sky. Now that's the fireworks that they have in 1998. That would have been pretty amazing. I was super tempted to go grab a coffee, but if I plan on riding the people mover, I can't get a coffee because they will not let you bring that on there. So if you do plan on doing the people mover, no food or drink, no coffee or anything like that, because I love drinking coffee and doing the people mover, but we're not back to that level yet. So if we do get a coffee, we have to get it after we do an attraction. So we have to make a decision here. I say let's go ride the people mover, then go down to Main Street USA and get a coffee from uh, Starbucks. I was going to get a coffee over here at Joffrey's, but first we'll do the people mover and then maybe a pistachio latte. It is really starting to get chilly out though. Like I said, I feel like it, it's different in Florida. Like I remember walking around in like negative like 10 degree weather in Pennsylvania, but like it drops down to the 40s, 30s or 20s here in Florida and I feel like I can't handle it. I really feel like I can't handle it. Doesn't really seem like there's any line for the people mover either. Like uh, I bet you we'll probably only wait about five, 10 minutes. You still need to wear your mask when you're on the people mover because you go inside Space Mountain. Other than that, it's basically an outdoor attraction and it's gonna be cold. Look at this, we got lucky, we got the first car. So that one's gonna take off and then we're gonna lead the pack. Lead the pack. That one's 16, number 16. Uh, sitting down, relaxing on the teacups and now the people mover. This is life. I wish I had a coffee. That would be life. 100% better. Here we go. We're taking off in a second here. This is my favorite part right here. Welcome aboard the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. Your quiet and carefree highway in the sky. We invite you to sit back. Really? Enjoy your grand circle tour of Tomorrowland. It so is indeed. We're coming up on the castle there. Everybody should be staking out a spot for enchantment. But there she is. Wow, what a beautiful thing, huh? Cross Galaxy Express. In Only at the TTA. Do you want to visit Star Traders, where you'll find the greatest gifts from around the galaxy? Wow, it looks like Space Mountain is only a 30 minute wait. That's really an awesome wait time right there. All right, it looks like we're heading back in now. Heading back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple minutes before enchantment starts, so I think we're gonna head down, get a coffee, and maybe watch the fireworks by the exit, like far, far back, so we don't get caught in the crowd. I think that sounds like a plan. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people like staking out spots for fireworks. The fireworks are in like less than 30 minutes, so. Usually you really can't get through here. There's people like crowded up to these lines. So it must not be that busy today. I bet you a lot of people went home because they were too cold. I don't blame them. <laughs> 
I hope that means that there's not a lot of people uh, in that Starbucks. <laughs> oh, maybe so. We might get lucky here. Oh, no. It's too cold of a night. People are definitely getting coffee. 17 minutes to get through this line. I think it is a possibility. 17 minutes of the fireworks. I think I'm really gonna try the pistachio latte again, but a lot of people and my friend actually told me that you need to ask for extra pistachio. So we're gonna see if it makes it any better. Wow, look at this fancy Star Wars Life Day coffee mug here for Starbucks. $19.99, I think I'm gonna get it. Family, joy, and harmony. And look at Chewbacca on the front there. This is really, really nice. Also, it's really awesome to point out that they still have the Irish cream cold brew and the pumpkin cream cold brew available. So you can still get your pumpkin fix even though the holiday season is way over. Oop, I think we're up. That's us. I did not get the Starbucks mug. I mean, I probably would have gotten it if I could drink out of it, but it's dirty and you have to wash it first. But wouldn't it be fun to just be able to drink a coffee on Main Street with a mug? I think I'm gonna start doing that. I bring my coffee mugs when I take like Gracie for a walk in the morning. That's why I always end up spilling it all over the place because I don't use a lid. I just use like a regular coffee mug. I kind of like the way it feels, you know? Look at me, I'm holding a pretend coffee mug in my hand right now. Actually, it looks like I'm fighting somebody. Look at that fist. We got nine minutes to go. Nine minutes to go. You notice just two minutes before the fireworks, there's nobody in line though. This is the time you want to come. Get it why there's nobody here, and then bada boom, bada bang. Two minutes to spare. Ooh, that's good. That's what you needed, those extra pumps. Let's see if we can tuck in here and see the fireworks show a little bit. Looks a little bit crowded as we get down. Uh-oh, the music just stopped. I think it's happening. There's silence in the air. Yep. Ooh. to come see all the projections on Main Street too. Honestly, I could just sit here and listen to music and drink coffee. It's just that cool. Oh. Never mind, my favorite part's coming up. That's the way.
That's good stuff. That is the way. Now everybody run! <laughs> no waiting around. The floodgates are open, so we better get going so we don't get stuck in a huge line to get out of here. But I had an amazing night tonight. Actually, I had an amazing just overall day. And I'm so happy I got to come here, close out the park, sit down at the bench and watch Enchantment. That was magic, actually. That was really, really amazing. I don't know why I've never thought to do that, because you can see the fireworks above the Emporium. And wow, I mean, this was a great, great day. I hope you guys like the little map. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that a little bit more often and maybe do it more when I make videos. I know I already wanna make a bunch of TikToks with those maps, because I've got like thousands, thousands and thousands of maps. And it's just so cool looking back and seeing what Disney was then and things I wasn't able to do and also things that I remember. And I wanna share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. The pistachio latte is much better with seven pumps. We'll see you next time. Bye.